Okay, now that's the way to start a live cast on Chinese New Year. Gung Hei Fa Choi, don't go away. You ever had uh, line dancers in your house before? I can't say that. <laughs> what a treat that was. That pretty, happened pretty right cool. here. That was awesome. Lucky line dancers, San Diego. Thank you very much. Very cool. Very cool. Round of applause. Round of applause. Lucky line. Wow, that was great. Mm -hmm. that They're was talented. Great. And that's like a lot of hard work. If you see the way the guys are like jumping around yeah. and holding the stuff up. I mean, they were sweating afterwards. Yeah, yeah they were. They for sure were. <laughs> well, we also made them do it like seven but, times. But imagine, <laughs> imagine the bigger ones. Yeah. Like, I don't know how many get in the big ones. Lynn, do you know? I, I don't know, but I don't, they, they usually do some, like, cool acrobatics stuff where they go up and they, like, yeah. push, you know, the, like a two-story building. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and then they crumble, right? Yeah. They do. They jump down again. That's really cool. Uh, I put the head on uh, just to hold it. Mm -hmm, it's yeah. like PVC piping inside, so it's pretty light. Um, but inside, you work the mouth, I guess, with your hand, and there's a string that you pull that makes the big eyelashes or the eyes blink. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Happy, that was pretty cool, man. Happy New Year, boys. Lynn, especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were your family doing anything special, Lynn? Um, that's a good question, actually. I since my family is part here and part in Vegas, so probably not. Look at that. There's a picture of me uh, in the head with Louie. Look at little. Would you take that picture? Right uh, up front. We're standing oh. in the front door. Nice. I took it. You know what I forgot to do, and I had them for them. I had the little red envelopes. Oh, you're supposed to feed them, wait, right? that's a Chinese you're, thing? You're suppo yes, yeah, so it, you know, apparently um, the the older people give them to the little kids with money in them. So I get a good luck thing then? Oh, yeah, and then you're kind of like tipping them in the process. Yeah, no, but I mean like, so like grandparents will give, give their grandchildren them, but when you're at the, when the lion oh. dances, you should have an envelope yeah, and yeah. you put it in the lion's mouth and he takes it and it's a... You know, it's like tipping them exactly. You know, I'm now recalling um, in elementary school when you'd celebrate yeah. Chinese New Year. Every, yeah. You know, it's like Valentine's Day where everybody hands out Valentine's Day cards. But for that, I remember everybody would get like a little red envelope with like a, a like a some type of thing that you would get excited I, for when you're in third grade. Lie, man. It, the best thing was when we got a lot of red envelopes all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, you know, <clears throat> the graph of red envelopes goes down as you age. Yeah. So when you're young, <laughs> oh, you get does? like a bunch with like a dollar in it. So you then... wouldn't you wouldn't get any now? I haven't gotten a red envelope since like my wedding. Okay. That's so it's a bad. kid thing. I have a suggestion. Wait, what's the, what's the soundboard called in there? I never know what you call that. It's called soundboard. the mixer. The mixer. Oh, the mixer yeah. Yeah. Lift up the mixer. Oh. Oh, what's no What's under way. that? Wow, the boys dad. each got a red on nice. the lobe. Oh my god, dad, that is epic. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank Open you. it up and see what's inside, though. All right, let's get it. This could be the best part. This is so exciting. It's a coupon. No, just kidding. Oh, what the heck? Where'd you get this from? Shut up. It's 100 yen. It's 100 yen. It's like $1,000. No. Oh, it's not? <laughs> it's more like, I think not it's quite. more like 20. <laughs> Oh, okay, no, no, no. I'm luck. so By stoked the... on this because I have money from all over Europe that I still hold on to because I love it. By yeah, the way, good awesome. luck spending it in this country. I know. I had to go to the travel, uh, the the travel X, the travel X at yeah. UTC today to get <laughs> nice. that, and I forgot that I had them for the dancers. I mean, I didn't forget, but I forgot to give them to the lion. 
So I gave them to the uh, to the. I had a, a stack of six of them. What are you just dishing, I didn't, dishing I, out twenties to everybody? Yeah, no, they, they actually didn't get twenties. Made of money? <laughs> they, they didn't get twenties. Okay. <laughs> nice, well, they yeah, got thanks, they got yeah. twenty. You're welcome. That's they got pleasure. twenty. Happy yeah. New Year. Yes, they got twenties, but oh. Chinese twenties. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I gave them. But I had six of them. When I talked to the guy to set up the dancers. There was going to be two people in the line because we knew that we didn't have that much space. Mm -hmm. There was going to be three musicians. That's five. And I believed he would come along as their leader. That's six. I had six envelopes for them. And, you and wanted... then they came with what? Like 20, 20 people. 20 people. And yeah. you wanted to squeeze them in the kitchen. Well, I thought we could. I thought. I, don't, I just thought right here would be like an iconic shot. You know? Yeah. With a little lion chilling on your countertop. Exactly. Kind of exactly, blinking his eyes at you exactly. right now. Oh, well, anyway. Okay, so look, we've done some good work so far today, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lion dancers. What we got next? The best is yet to come. Best is yet to come. Uh, but before I tell you what that is, I have now done my second class at Perch. Mm -hmm. I did a private scotch dinner the other night. I paired Asian food. There was a guy from Orange County that was doing uh, the scotch tasting. Oh. Five different scotches, explain the process, what makes them different. We learned a lot. I did Asian food. It went beautifully with all the stuff. It was really fun. But the really important part of the whole thing is I think probably three quarters of the guys that were at this dinner had never been there before, never been to Perch. Mm -hmm. And they said, same thing I say when I go there. And I've been there a lot. And I still say the same thing every time. Holy crap. This place is amazing. If you haven't been to Perch yet, here in San Diego, in Costa Mesa, in Rancho Mirage, soon to be in Chicago, where else? Atlanta and Houston, it is a place like no other. It's kitchen bath, it's outdoor, but don't think appliance store because it isn't it's so far beyond anything that you would ever expect. Hell yeah. It's amazing. It's I'm a kid in a candy store every time I go there. And, you know, I used to just go off on the fact that one of the little things that they do is they have all the shower heads mm -hmm. with taps that you can see. Actual working shower heads. A genius way to see how a shower head works, right? Rather than just buying it off the shelf dry. Right. All of the faucets in the store. All of the faucets in the store work too. So if you're looking for a new kitchen faucet, you can see how the water comes out of it. You can work the sprayer. I don't know why people don't do this. I'm not sure either. They've changed the way people shop and buy appliances. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, perch, the perch, P I R C H dot com. Check them out. Check them out on Facebook too. And if you have Instagram, follow that cooking guy right there. His oh, yes. handle is the cooking guy. He has been uploading some cool stuff recently. Yeah, so. hey, go to my go to my Twitter yeah. quickly and take a look at the picture that I posted yesterday, something I found in the supermarket. What is it? Preface it. Uh, oh, I sent it to you already. Something I found on the shelf that I was very surprised that they sell oh, now. Oh, yeah? California supermarkets. Oh, well, that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> I know. Not just weed, organic weed. <laughs> nice. That's the good shit. What is going on here? <laughs> that's yeah, that's awesome. the reason to follow me on Twitter. Yeah, it's that kind of nonsense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. When we come back, something for all of our stomachs that we're all going to be I'm very so happy is going to be made right here behind us. Don't go away. Okay, so there's no way to end a uh, Chinese New Year show for me. No better way than to have Emerald Chinese restaurant people here cooking in my kitchen. Stephen Liu, Chef Dad, Peter Fong. Yes. How are you, Chef? Hi. Happy New Year. Thank you. Oh. Happy New Year too. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, you can thank cook. You. you can cook. Want to get some heat? So, uh, Chef is going to make uh, beef chow fun, wide uh, rice noodles. They look like this with beef. It's honestly, it's like this is my favorite thing. I can't go to dim sum uh, and not have it. And dim sum, this isn't really part of dim sum, but you can always just order it, right? Right, right. A popular item? It's one of the most popular items, uh, both daytime and nighttime, like you said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've been going to Emerald for, I think, 20 years now, right. maybe 21. You're, you're how old? Uh, I'm 36 years old. Yeah, so not I'm... you. The restaurant. 22. 22, 22 years. 22 years old. Wow. <laughs> so uh, I know your your mom owns the restaurant. Right. My my mom and my uncle. Your mom and your uncle. Right. Got it. And um, 
started because it was it was a piece of property that a restaurant was supposed to go into. Right. You, there was a restaurant that was supposed to go in there. Yeah. And things fell through, and then so my mom and my uncle decided, you know what? Let's put a restaurant in there. So they they did it. And, and how crazy an idea was that? Did they come from restaurant people? Absolutely not. They come from real estate. But yeah. you know. My whole family loves to eat, yeah. and they go to Hong Kong a lot. So they decided, let's take the steps to put a restaurant together. And so, you know, 22 years later, you know, yeah. it's been doing really well. I'll tell you something. Well, we like Jews and Chinese <laughs> like to eat. We're very much the same like right. that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, oh, let me turn this on for you. Okay. Okay, so the components of this are, are pretty simple. Wide uh, rice noodles. Hey, Max, you come over here for okay. one second. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, so here, we'll watch the chef. We'll get to those noodles in a second. So what I find interesting is the egg is being used to help sort of lubricate the pan. Yes. And then when the noodles go in like they're about to, they won't stick as much. So these are wide rice noodles that you just buy at any Chinese market. Right, you can buy them in any Chinese market. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's special for the new year because a lot of people eat uh, noodles because they uh, represent longevity. Got the long noodle, long, noodle, long life, like, right? Like long life. Yeah. I can only imagine how busy the restaurant's going to be over the next. How long? Chinese New Year's a couple weeks? It's about a couple weeks. Yeah. Uh, every year it starts at different times. It all depends on the winter solstice because it's based on the Lunar New Year calendar. Right. Uh, it starts on the 31st yeah. uh, this year, but uh, next year it might start a couple weeks later uh, in February. So we've just added, um, uh, what, green, green onions? Green onions, some leeks. Some leeks. Uh, oh, I don't know if the leeks And the sprouts, right, bean right. sprouts. Bean sprouts, right. Bean sprouts. He knows how to work a lot. Yeah, uh, he's been uh, with our restaurant, Chef Peter's been there for about five years. Yeah. Uh, he's had a long career in uh, Chinese cooking, and so it's really essential that you know how to use a wok. Yeah, uh, well, I'll say this, and I don't know that, I think I've talked about it on the show before, but my 50th birthday party, mm -hmm. uh, you guys did part of the food for it. Right. I also had a sushi guy, but Chef Peter came mm -hmm. uh, with... Albert, or? No, one of the servers, the young, uh, oh, there's no his name. All right, and so <laughs> he was here, and I, they came in, and I said, you know, here's my stove. It's not quite what you have, right. but it's here years to use. Mm -hmm. And he basically laughed at me. <laughs> and said, I can't use this. He cooked out front on right. my front yard yeah. with a giant wok that he had brought in a big yeah. thing. It's a, it's a beautiful show. And I think uh, Chef Peter, Sam, just put in chicken powder. In there. Chicken powder yeah. does what for this? You know what? We use it instead of salt because it gives it a little bit more flavor. You know, yet it people... Still, it still gives a salty flavor. It but, gives a but, salty flavor, but it gives a different taste. And a lot of restaurants uh, before use MSG yeah. to cook. But, you know, a lot of people are health conscious, and when they hear MSG, you know, they, they kind of run, out. they freak yeah, out, yeah, and they yeah, run yeah. away. So a lot of restaurants, including ours, have really gone away from MSG and have used other things like chicken powder. Yeah. Let me ask this: What was the, what was the beef marinated in? The beef was marinated in baking soda, cornstarch, and salt. And that's it. Yeah, that's no, basically it. No soy, it. no. No soy. Uh, huh. And egg. I'm sorry. And I think egg too. Egg too. So okay. It just gives it a little bit more taste than regular beef. Got it. So we marinate most of our meats in that type of marinade, uh, whether it be chicken and, and beef. And some pork, so yeah. uh, just just gives it a little bit more taste. Okay, I, we will. Oh, you finished? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Just like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, don't take your time or anything. Yeah. We'll go right here. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Oh, That's a nice move. <laughs> That's wow. a nice move. Oh, Years okay. of experience. I can see that. Okay. Here's what we have to do. Hold on. I have. Sticks. We all have to try them. So I have more here. I have a red pear for Chinese New Year. For the chef? That just yeah. Do you have some? <laughs> yeah, I know. Right here, right? Steven? Yeah. I'll take a pe pear. Let's all take a bite. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, <laughs> guys, my favorite. My favorite. I feel like I'm right there right now. It's a standard. Mm. You know? 
Beef wood. Mm. The beef is very good. The beef's great. Beef. It's excellent. Sam, this is you. fantastic. Thank you. Uh, Happy New Year, boys. Happy New Year. Go Happy 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 Choy. Choy. Yeah. Right. I hope the restaurant is busy. I hope you have a very good, successful year. And uh, maybe we'll have you back here again next. Yeah? Thank you. If you haven't been to Emerald, you have to do it. There's, uh, there's an Emerald in San Diego. They also have another restaurant called uh, Pearl, Pearl and Rancho Bernardo. Rancho Bernardo. And they just opened up a little one at the airport. Right. Terminal you can one. Come in, in, you can have it. Yeah. Right. right. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to eat this. Thanks so much for having uh, spent the day with us or a little bit of time. It's Chinese New Year. Go out, celebrate, wear red. Go to the restaurant. You have uh, line dancers in there this weekend? Uh, uh, on uh, tomorrow, because it's uh, actually New Year's tomorrow, yeah. uh, they'll be there. And I think Sunday, uh, and then I think next week too. Nice. Okay. We'll go have dim sum, have the beef chow fun, and uh, say hi to these guys if you go. Gang hei fa choy. We'll see you on Monday. I don't know what we're making yet, but I can tell you this. It'll be really good. See ya.